На Донецком направлении добровольцы штурмовых отрядов при огневой поддержке ракетных войск и артиллерии южной группировки войск освободили населенный пункт Красная гора Донецкой Народной Республики. Потери противника за сутки составили свыше 150 украинских военнослужащих, 4 боевые бронированные машины, 6 пикапов и 2 гаубицы Д-30. Planul pentru perioada următoare presupune acțiuni cu implicarea unor diversioniști.
cu pregătire militară, camuflați în civil, care să întreprindă acțiuni violente, atac asupra unor edificii ale statului și pluare de ostatici. Prin acțiuni violente, mascate sub proteste ale așa numitei opoziții, ar urma să se forțeze schimbarea puterii de la Chișinău. The war in Ukraine is consuming an enormous amount of ammunition and depleting Allied stockpiles. The current rate of Ukraine's ammunition expenditure is many times higher than our current rate of production. This puts our defense industries under strain. For example, the waiting time for large caliber ammunition has increased from 12 to 28 months. I think the reality is that we have seen the start already, because we see what, what what Russia does now, President Putin do now, is to send in thousands of thousands of more troops, um, accepting a very high rate of casualty, um, taking uh, big losses, uh, but putting pressure on the Ukrainians. And what uh, Russia lacks in quality, they try to compensate in quantity meaning that the leadership, the, the, the logistics, the equipment, the, 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 the training uh, don't have the same level uh, as the Ukrainian forces, but they have more forces. Uh, and the Russians are willing to send in those forces and, uh, and take a high, high number of casualties. So for me, this just highlights the importance of timing. It's urgent to provide Ukraine with more weapons.